Hey folks, what's happening? Joey Kissimmee here with ThinkOnPress.com and in this super quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple web form for your opt-in pages or your squeeze pages so you can start collecting leads and start building a nice little list. Now I'm going to be using Aweber for this tutorial. Aweber is just one of many email management systems out there. It's my preferred one. If you have another one like iContact or MailChimp or something, then I'm, I won't be able to help you out with that. But if you have Aweber, then this is the tutorial for you. So let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. Now all you got to do is just log into your Aweber back office, then go right up here where it says current list and choose the list name that you want to create the web form and so you can start collecting that the leads in that list. Hope that makes sense, right? So I'm going to use this one here, uh, one demo list press, okay? And then right up here at the top right hand corner, you're going to click on web forms. It's going to take you to this page here and then all you got to do is just click on this button here that says create a new web form. It's going to take you to the editing area where you actually get to design your uh, your opt-in box okay so right here all you got to do is just choose one of the many that uh, Aweber provides for you so if you're not techie like I am okay they actually have some pre-made ones for you right here okay and they have a, to a ton of them here they got some popular ones here uh, they got some here if you've already created some uh, previous ones uh, some corporate ones and I mean they just have a whole bunch of them here that uh, you can choose from. So I'm just gonna go here to one of the popular ones, choose this one here, the modern one. And then we'll go ahead and click on load uh, the template. So right here, there's a few things that, that I personally don't like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take out this, uh, this uh, header thing here. I'm gonna take out this footer and then take out this as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these here. All right, if you're collecting names, then uh, you can go ahead and leave that there. But I don't usually collect the uh, names, I just collect the emails. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that out. But it's your choice. If you wanna add the name or whatever, just go ahead and right up here where it says, on the left-hand corner where it says fields, just go ahead and click on uh, the plus to add the name, okay? And that's all, that's all you gotta do. So let's go ahead and just take that off here for a second here, oops, sorry about that. Go ahead and take the name off. And then just go ahead and click on save. And you're all set. Now, all you gotta do is just go on to st step number two, which is the settings. And then right here in the foreign name, I actually like to name it whatever the, the opt-in page, uh, the opt-in page is. So it's, if it's, I'm giving away a squeeze page tutorial, then I'll name it squeeze page. If it's a free report or whatever, then I'll name it free XYZ report and so forth, okay? Down here on the thank you page, okay? I just go ahead and click on the custom page because this is where you wanna put your your custom thank you page. So this is right here, I'll put something like yourdomain.com slash free thing or wherever it is that your download page is, okay? Um, and then right down here, already subscribed. I usually do the exact same thing there, whatever I put in here. I go ahead and put it right there, okay? Now, if you don't have a thank you page yet, you can go ahead and leave it on the basic version and Aweber has their own version of the thank you page, which lets them know, you know, thank you for subscribing, blah, yada, 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 okay? So right there, just go ahead and put uh, those links right there and then click on save. And then you're gonna go on to step number three, which is actually publishing, all right? Now this right here where it says, I will install my form, this is where you actually uh, take the, the actual web form, the code, and paste it to your opt-in page. So the one that you're gonna want is not the JavaScript. The one that you're going to want is the one here where it says raw HTML version. So just go ahead and click on that, right down here, highlight that entire thing, and then just copy it, okay? And this is the code where you will take to your opt-in page, paste it, and then people will start opting, uh, entering their emails, opting in, and so forth. Now, if you are using my uh, my free landing page generator, okay, right here, you could actually paste it right in here. So I have a whole bunch of templates right here that you can use. I usually like doing this one because I'm a video guy, right? And right here, you put in whatever uh, niche you're going with. Right here, you can put a link to an image or the video embed code, okay? Then right down here where it says Aweber form, this is where you will actually paste in 
that code. Okay, now before you go ahead and download the and generate this uh, opt-in page, make sure you preview it just so you can see that everything looks right, everything looks uh, pretty, and then, you know, and actually right here, as you can see, that's the actual form that we just generated with Aweber. So right here, what I would do is actually go ahead and, and enter my email, opt in, uh, click on the submit button, just to make sure that this is working properly because you do not want to go live with a web page if it's not working right uh, because you'll lose potential uh, signups, potential leads, and potential customers. So that's my tutorial on how to create a web form. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you want to take advantage of the uh, this free landing page generator, all you have to do is just go to incompress.com slash free landing page generator, all one word, okay? And it'll take you right to this page. I'll have the link below this uh, video if you're on my website or if you're on YouTube, okay? So with that said, this is Joey Kissimmee. Peace. I love it for free, and I'll see you on the next.